everything you've ever known is a lie. At least when it comes to superhero films. Maybe. It's time to put the Justice League and Avengers on the sideline as we speculate on some crazy superhero film theories that could just change everything. Stan Lee is the Watcher You probably thought Stan Lee was making cameos in every Marvel film just because he's awesome, but there might be another reason. Maybe he's actually playing the role of Uatu the Watcher. Who? Well, the Watcher is a cosmic being tasked with cataloging what happens on Earth without interfering. He watches everything from the background, exactly like Stan Lee. Could Stan really be an extraterrestrial voyeur? It explains everything. Wonder Woman and Aquaman are Kryptonian Remember in Man of Steel when Clark Kent found a crashed Kryptonian scout ship on Earth? The ship had been sitting in ice for over 18,000 years, which begs the question, what happened to the Kryptonians on that ship? Well, some fans think that they survived and used their tech to establish an underwater colony, which eventually became Aquaman's home of Atlantis. Others suggest they founded Wonder Woman's Amazonian society of Themyscira, or both. Making them all Kryptonian sounds weird, but it would at least explain where all these super people come from. Jared Leto's Joker is Jason Todd Stop us if you've heard this one, but there are some people who think Jared Leto's version of the Joker from Suicide Squad is actually Batman's former sidekick, Robin. Holy Benedict Arnold! In Batman vs Superman, Bruce Wayne's Batcave had a memorial set up for what was presumably the last Robin, Jason Todd. In the comics, the Joker severely beats Todd with a crowbar before killing him in an explosion. He was brought back from the grave, went nuts, and, as a twisted tribute to his attacker, took up the Joker's previous costumed identity, the Red Hood. What if Leto's Joker is actually a crazed Jason Todd, taking up the mantle of the villain who ruined his life? While director Zack Snyder has said in interviews that Robin was, indeed, killed by the Joker, he may be trying to redirect fans from a big reveal. Now that would be a really good joke. <laughs> We met Star-Lord's dad in Guardians of the Galaxy One of the biggest dangling plot threads in Guardians of the Galaxy is the identity of Peter Star-Lord Quill's father, but what if he was in the movie after all? We know Quill's father's an alien, and that Star-Lord has the ability to use an Infinity Stone without exploding, which is kind of a big deal. Who else can do that? Adam Warlock, a weird space hippie who hatched from a cocoon, which appeared to be part of the Collector's display. Did it contain Star-Lord's dad? We won't know until the sequel. The Red Skull Still Lives The last time we saw the Red Skull, the Hydra leader was fighting Captain America for control of the Tesseract. The Skull grabbed it, only to have a portal open and suck him in, apparently wiping him out of existence. So where did the Red Skull go? Since the Tesseract is capable of anything, there's no end to the shenanigans he could be up to. Wherever he ended up, our money is on the Red Skull to survive and eventually return to the Marvel Universe stronger than ever before. Cut off one limb and all that, right? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which superhero movie theories should have made the list.